today we are going to understand the concept of new and delete in C++ and malloc and free in C. Okay. So what we will learn is that we should prefer new and delete in C++ over malloc and free. Okay. So that is important in C++ when you are using it's better to use the new and delete operators with the class objects and it is more preferable than malloc and free and we will see the reasons okay so let's see some code okay so we are using a string class standard string so if i write string star ptr str1 so i'm declare, declaring a pointer to a string array so what i do if i write it in a c style so i will do static cast string star so and then 3 into malloc size of standard string so this is the way general way i'm type casting it so i will write string star and this is a static cast then 3 is the size i'm um, the array size i'm taking as 3 so i use 3 into malloc size of standard string so this is the particular way we write malloc in c okay so which allocates enough storage for three class objects for string class okay but in c++ what we do much simpler ways standard string star ptr underscore str2 so pointer is equal to new string 3 so now it is three objects are allocated okay so new so now let's see what are the benefits so here again memory is allocated for three objects and then here cause the here it also calls the constructor of the string class okay so this is very important okay so this is very important concepts it also new also calls the constructor of the string class or the class for which you are allocating memory but in malloc it doesn't call the constructor okay so this way it is very difficult now to call the constructor of these classes now so this is one thing and let's see another thing is again if we are doing free so again here the destructor will not be called and it will become very difficult now your memory is deallocated and your destructor is not called so that's not a very pleasant thing to happen so and here we do delete and in braces and then ptr str2 so this deallocates memory okay and here it also calls the destructor so this is fine okay so the things to remember is that when we should use new for C++ classes because it also caused the constructor of the class besides allocating memory and similarly we should call delete because it caused the destructor as well as freeze the memory okay and if you call just free so it will not do the free so this is important and similarly another thing that is important is you should use the corresponding free and allocate okay so like if i'm using malloc okay then i should use a free you cannot use a malloc and delete that is again a problematic thing and you sh if you are using malloc use free if you are using new use delete okay but some users might have seen here what is this okay so this what is this here delete and then bracket open bracket close bracket I could have written just delete ptr str2 so let's see what is the importance of this one so why delete and not a simple delete okay so when we allocate an array like array of objects here standard string star ptr new string 200 so i'm allocating 200 uh, memory location for 200 string objects and i'm calling their constructors so what happens now if we just do a delete so what will happen is so 2 ptr till in fact it will go to ptr 199 okay so let's see so now if i do just delete ptr what will happen is it will call the destructor of ptr 0 and it will be deleted but what will happen is that ptr 1 ptr 2 till ptr 199 they will not get deleted so this is a problem so if we are using allocated an array of objects using new so we should call delete it using d e l e t delete 
and using this braces and then the PTR. Okay, so this is the important concept. So if I'm just using one object, then you can use a simple delete. Okay, so this was all about new and delete operators in C++ and why we should use it. So I hope you understand this video. Thanks a lot.